sort of stages from gratitude to grounding to wholeness to protection. Uh, more protection, trusting in God, and then, and then moving into healing and hope. Um, so I just want to read a short poem first by my friend Alden Solomon. It's a short prayer for healing. God of love, cast the light of health and well-being on the injured, the infirm, and the insecure. All who yearn for your healing hand, bless them with healing of body, healing of soul, healing of spirit. Grant all in need of a full and complete recovery. Aruch ata Adonai, Makor Nefesh Kol Chai. And this first song is on your sheets. For life, for health, for hope, for beautiful, bountiful blessing. All praise to the source, to the source of being. For life, for health, for hope, for beautiful, bountiful blessing. All praise to the source, to the source of being. Instead of doing a song, I would like to try something uh, that I've never done before um, and do a very short meditation. Uh, if, you, if you just know me for this year, you know that I've never led a meditation. Um, and I know a lot of us here practice mindfulness meditation, which I also practice. Uh, and some of us practice transcendental meditation, which I do practice twice a day. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Um, I think it's, a, it's the tension between getting it loud enough and not getting it echoey, and I think if it's going to be loud enough, it might be a little echoey. I think it's, you get one or the other. I'm both for loud enough. All right. Um, so another form of meditation that I have practiced in my past uh, is called grounding meditation. And um, I feel like if we are going to pray for healing, for ourselves, for our loved ones, for this world, for the earth, um, a good place to start is a place of grounding. So I've never done a full grounding meditation or facilitated one, but we'll do a short one. Um, if you feel comfortable uh, putting both feet on the floor, you don't have to if that's not comfortable. Uh, closing your eyes, you can put your hands in a comfortable position. You can either fold them in your lap or you can keep them palm up, uh, although you don't need to do that and that's not going to be part of this meditation. And just close your eyes. Grounding makes you feel safe. It provides a connection for you between yourself and the earth, which is an immediate signal to your body that you are safe and all is well, no matter what else is going on around you. The center of the earth is the safest and most neutral place of all. So what I want you to do is just imagine you have a cord that's, that's, that's stretching. stretching. That's very echoey. That is stretching from the base of your spine. Some of you might call that your first chakra, the very base of your spine, uh, and the center of the earth. That's it. You can imagine that cord in any way you want. It can be a tree trunk, it can be a root, it can be a lightning rod, it can be a beam of light or a waterfall, 
It can be anything you imagine. Just imagine there's a cord from your root to the root of the earth. And what that does, just by simply imagining it, is automatically work for you. There's an automatic flow of energy downward from your space into the center of the earth. And uh, if you decide you want to practice this meditation, you also can bring the earth energy up into your own body. Um, and that's it. You can clear energy that's not yours. And uh, if, if energy is clearing, it's not yours. Uh, if energy doesn't feel good, it's not yours. And if you have a good grounding cord, it will take it away from you. And it will leave you room to fill with your own light and your own energy and your own healing. And that is it. You can open your eyes when you wish to, or you can continue and experience your grounding. Um, we're going to move to... to a uh, Kabbalistic prayer, Anna B'choach, which is part of the Friday night liturgy, is a powerful prayer of healing and wholeness. And it's a prayer for strength and wholeness. Uh, and the, the uh, transliteration, although not the translation, is on your sheets. Anna, Anna B'choach. opportunity to mention names of people that we are keeping in our prayers. Right now, another prayer of protection, B'Shem Hashem, the protective angels.
liturgy has some really beautiful, beautiful prayers for protection. The one that, that we're most familiar with is Hashki Venu. Hashki Venu. May we lie down in peace and safety. Hashki Venu. Hashki Venu. Adonai Eloheinu Shalom. Shalom. Hashki trust that we have God's protection and that our lives and our souls are in his hand. And Beato Afkidruchi, the last line of Adon Olam. Love to do now is, is share the names of the people that we're keeping in our hearts who need healing of their bodies, their spirits, their minds, also the world.
people, our community. Um, if you would like to share a name or names, I'm going to go around the room and give you an opportunity. Starting on my left, your right. You don't have to share anything out loud if you don't want to, but, but I'm, you are invited to as well. every one of these people, Rafua Shalema, a complete healing, a speedy healing, a complete wholeness, and also for the world, for peace. Shalom, 
healing service with hope. Those who sow, so
Antibuchim on Ichudecha. Three ninety. Avinu Malkenu, a Seleman by Eva Eshu Vamaim, Al Kidushimecha. Avinu Malkenu, a Seleman Ha, Im Lola Manenu. Avinu Malkenu, Honenu Vane. Still on 390 for the conditioning. Amen. Yehesh me rabba me barach le alam pula le almaya yit barach yit barach be yish tabach be yit har be yit romam be yit nase be yit hadar be yit ale be yit halal shemed kudesh Brichu lech ela ule ela mikol birchata veshirata tush bechata venechamata da miran be alma be imeru be imeru amen tiz kabal zelot hon uvaud hon de chol Israel. Dam abu hon di bishmaya beimeru amen. Yehesh la maraba min shemaya vechayim aleinu vealkol kol Yisrael beimeru amen. Ose shalom bimeroma hu yase shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel ve'imeru ve'imeru Amen So you should call to Eli for leading us to the great Mincha Thank you so much We now turn to the very beginning of the Ne'ila service we welcome back Hinter Naomi. We turn ahead to page 394. 394 with the Ashray. 
396 Kadosh, 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 and let's about all the local arts give all the dough. Come in, Demi, Demi, I mean, Kadish, Bish, Bim, Ron. But he said, Any raw flesh, Maha, Rifle, Rash, Gado, Baruch, the Boda, don't I mean, with all. Maybe, Kurt, I don't I mean, a tar bitch, Hotel. I don't know, I'm not there, Lamba, Edna, Mokoteka, and Alamal, and my young man, who have arms, got his robe, and she was a bear, Lamma, it's a much longer than a ha, to him, Lavin. Leave <laughs> Please rise for the silent standing prayer for this Ne'ila service, our last silent prayer. It goes from page 398 to 406. 398 to 406. When you finish praying your prayer, you may be seated.
I ask you to stand one more time for 407 L Nora Alila. Hey Nora Alila, hey Nora Alila, I'm selling you mechila, bishe Bisha ata neila, Shohim lecha nafsham, the hebish am becha hasham, Hamsi em mechila, Bisha ata neila, El nora alila, El nora alila, Hamsela nu mechila, Bisha ata neila, El hem the citram. Bechad seim mim era, bechot meim le hod ulegila, bisha ata neila, hodotam verachem, becholochets velochem, aseba em pelila, bisha ata neila, el nora alila, el nora alila, hamselanu mechila. Bisha ata neila, the horsey cat of him, the Hadesh et ye mayhem, Kedem utrila, Bisha ata neila, Karanash not ratson, Vashav sheri tatson, the O holy bab O hola, Bisha ata neila, Hail Nora alila, Hail Nora alila. Am sela nu mechila, bisha ata neila, tiskul shanim rabot, habanim vehabanot, beditsa ubzo hola, bisha ata neila, eh nora alila, eh nora alila, am sela nu mechila, bisha ata neila. May be seated. Every year I stop the service here because we're going to open the ark and we're going to stand for a really long time. So this is your opportunity to rest up. Also, I have a couple other things that I want to do during this moment. One is to say thank you because at the end of the service, everybody's going to be running off to break fast, wherever that is, and it's hard to stick around. And it's really important that we take a second to acknowledge all the people that make something like the season of the high holidays work. It's really a village. You saw a lot of different people get up and participate. And I want to take just a minute. It's worth it to share gratitude to go through the people who did what. First of all, I want to thank Cantor Naomi for all that she's done. I want to thank, in our musical meditation, I don't want to forget them, Rabbi Arik Leibowitz. And you have the band members, Surya Prakasha, Dave Rosenfeld, Brian Rice, our youth service leaders, Rabbi Rory Katz and Benny Marvelies, mm -hmm. our Torah readers, Yali Danzig, Stephen Roth, Daniel Seidel, Ari Hyman, Gabe Hyman, Jacob Goldman, Goldberg, Cynthia Ullman, Max Perkoff, Ron Brown, Mark Cohen, Jeff Gottesman, Jonathan Schreiber, Rabbi George Schlesinger, Bonnie Ryapel, Julia Daniel, Mayan Bujanova, Samantha Riley, Jen Smorgan, and Shelley Dorf. Our teen experience facilitator, Carla Naylor. 
Our shofar blowers, Keith Chertok and Mark Swoyskin. Our Haftarah readers, Armin Brat, Stephen Green, Cynthia Allman, and Sandy Statler. Service leaders, Cyrus Davidi, Judah Emanuel, Samantha Riley, Todd Silverstein, Fred Chernis, Sandy Statler, and Ellie Welber. Our Gabayim, Nana Meyer, Neil Kugamas, Ron Brown, and Marilyn Goodman. We had personal journeys, all those different speakers, remember them? Adam Gelfand, Dave Schlachter, Esther Stone, Andrea Zanko, and Carrie Barlis. Our musical meditation leader of meditation, Larry Yermak. Behind the scenes, there's a bunch of people who do stuff behind the scenes. We always bring in Sound Wizard, Bob Ertz and his team, Kale Sassman, Tim Allen, Greg Dietrich. Operations and Connectivity Manager, Nina Kroner, for Woo! Zoom hosting all of our services, helping us set that up. Our preschool director, Catherine Barboni, who helped to organize childcare, along with Rachel Berman, told stories in the serve early childhood service. The entire Cole Shofar staff under our executive director, Kaya Burkett. Membership manager, Robin Kaufman. Bookkeeper, Denise Asazawa. Our controller, Pam Louie. Our giving manager, Hannah Dworkin, who along with Kaya ran our annual High Holiday campaign. Our facilities manager, Kirk Kim, along with Jack Klassen and John Mason. Our kitchen manager and chef, Alberto De La Rosa. Our high holiday greeters, and there's a bunch of them, they were chaired by Bruce Rafel. Our service honors were conducted by Madeline Laviano, supported by Joan Levison. Support with the martyrology service this afternoon was Esther Rocha Statler. And I want to thank the entire Cole Shofar Board of Directors under the leadership of President Lissa Friedman. Thank you to everybody, it really does. It's a family and everybody steps up to the plate this time of year to make a beautiful, meaningful, joyful experience for everyone, so thank you. In a minute, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna open the ark and there is a custom I wanna remind you of. <coughs> when we open the ark, close of our custom is that you can line up along here, there's a big plant there, but you can still line up along here and you can take a moment in front of the open ark with your family to share a bracha, a blessing with your family, and then move so the next family can move forward. There's a part that will pause that. That's the Kedusha. Steve is going to help manage that situation. Please don't be shy. It's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful opportunity to do during the Elah. And the last thing, I want to share one last thought. I heard it once explained that human beings first built civilization around villages. And villages were bounded and had a center. In the village, you met each other and knew each other. In the village, you had an immortality within the village because you lived in there. And when your time was up, the village remembered you as a part of the village. And then came empires. And villages were wiped out, and they were replaced by giant, bustling cities where people don't know each other anymore. And there's no sense of immortality. According to the explanation, this is what Ecclesiastes meant when he said, Havel Havalim, Amar Kohelet, Havel Havalim, Hakol Havel, utter futility, utter futility, all is futile, all is vanity, all is hollow, all is surface and meaningless, because the big city can make you feel meaningless. You can get lost in a city. In fact, you can even be more alone in a big city than in a village, even though you're surrounded by more people. You can feel like you don't count, or you're unseen, or you don't matter in the world in a big city. That's what Ecclesiastes is saying. It's the existential angst and fear that nothing really matters because I will live and I will die and no one will know my name. And so today, we need something to replace the village. We need what I'll call a third place. We need a third place in our lives when you live like we do in America. So your first place is your home. Your second place is your work. And then you need a third place. And every culture has a different way of providing a third place. In Ireland, the third place is the it's a pub. The pub is not a bar in Ireland or in England. There happens to be a bar in the pub, 
But it's more than that. Or in Italy or Spain, the third place is often a town plaza. You know, the piazza, the cafes and gelato shops. There are places where people go ritually at certain times of the day, and not just adults, but the whole family goes there to these places to gather with other families and friends. There's often music. They'll tell each other stories. There's food and camaraderie. They'll talk politics and sports and theater. And no one is measured by their economic value. There's a social leveling that happens at the third place. The third place is where Hevra happens. It's where community happens. These are the places to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> and they're always glad you came. We all need a third place. And for Jews in America, the third place has often been, and to this day, is the shul. It's the synagogue. Kol Shofar is that third place. And one of the great things about being a rabbi, but not just a rabbi, also other staff who work here, lay leaders, as well as each and every member in our own way, all of us, is that we get the opportunity to build for ourselves and for others a third place. That's what we built over these high holidays. It's what happens every Shabbat and every Sunday morning at Beit Bina. This is our third place where we can connect on what we share, which is the love of our tradition, our desire to learn and grow intellectually and spiritually, our desire to teach our values, our tradition to our children, our love of sharing and celebrating the cycle of the calendar as well as the cycles of our lives. It's a place that we eat to each, that we each give and contribute as much as we get. It's where we take care of each other. It's a wonderful and sacred thing to build a third place. Being a part of Kol Shofar means that you get to be a third place builder. So often in America, we go to work, we go to school, we go back home, we go to work, we come home and that's often it. Maybe we stop at the gym, we shop at the shopping center, but here, we get to build a place and share life outside the bounds of family. A communal home where you are seen, where you're somebody, and you're welcome for who you are just the way you are. It's a place where you matter. The synagogue is the ideal third place because it conveys a language of intimacy, a language of community, and a language of transcendence. This is the place where we know each other share our values, tell our stories, cherish each other, remember each other. So as we move into Ne'ilah together, as the gates of prayer are coming to a close, that we approach them as a family, a family of families. And I want to thank you. And I want to bless you for being my third place for the past several years and in this new year. And when that last shofar blast rings out, the coal so far that we bring our prayer and our song and our spirit into yet another year of doing this wonderful, holy, enriching, and sacred work of the third place. Again, I want to remind you that you can come line up with your family before the ark. I invite you all to please rise as David and Steve come down to open the ark. And we turn to page 408. I'm 
טובים, וקונה הכל, וזוכה חסדי אבות, ובי גורר לבני בניהם, למען שמו ביאבה. יסוד חכמים ונבונים, ומלמד דת מבינים. הבטחה פי בתפילה ובתחנונים, לכלות ולכנן. בני מלך מלא רחמים, מוכר וסולח לעוונים. We look at the left hand side in the English. Open the gates of righteousness for us that we may enter them and praise God. We have knocked on your doors, merciful one. Do not turn us away empty handed. Open for us and for all Israel, our people, wherever they are. Gates of light, blessing, and joy. Gates of gladness, gladness splendor, and good counsel. Gates, gates of, of merit, love, love and, and purity. purity. Gates, gates of salvation, salvation, atonement, and kindness. Gates, gates of pardon, consolation, and forgiveness. Gates of help, prosperity, and righteousness. Gates of uprightness and complete healing. Gates of peace and repentance. <laughs> Livracha v'li kedusha Ki ata kadosh v'shim cha kadosh U'sha'arecha v'li kedusha nikanes 4.11 the kedusha U'vahem toras v'tukdash 
Second paragraph 413. Let's 
Kadosh atav no rash mecha. Ve'ena lo ami baladech ha'kakatu. Ve'ibar and I sabot ba'mishpat. Ve'ha'el ha'kadosh nikdash b'itztaka. Baruch ata Adonai. Ha'melech ha'kadosh. Ata v'chartani mikol ha'amim. Avta otana rosita vanu. Ron, Roman Tan Mikol, a shanot, the Kiddush Tan of Miss Potecha, the care of Tan of Arcano Lavadotecha, which in Hagado Bacado shall they do Karata. Patti, Tainlano, I don't know, 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 Eloheinu belahe avoteinu, ya levi avobi agia birae, bira sevi shamavi fakevi zacher zichroneinu piktoneinu, zichron avoteinu, zichron mashiach ben david avdecha, zichron yushalayim ir kotshecha, zichron kalam chabet israel lefanecha, lifleta le tova lechenu lechesed, olorachamim, lechaim lechalom beyom akipurim hazeh. So Hrainu Adonai Eloheinu Bolotova, Ufok Deinu Bolivracha, Beoshienu Bolachayim. Ubidvari Shua Barachamim, Chus Vechonenu Barachim Malenu Bahoshienu, Yelechaineinu, Yel Melachanu and Barachumata. Turn to page 414. Betach lanu shar, ve'et ne'ilat shar, ki fanayom. Hayom yifne, Hashem esh yavo ve'yifne, nabo she'are. Ramona, Rachemna, Caperna, Kavosh, Hed, Beavo. We turn to page four fifteen. As him shouted in a taxi menu, my mark, I yome a crow of shame, I don't know, I vaya avor, I don't know, Apanava. Adonai, Adonai, El Rahu Mechanun, Erech Apaim, Rav Chesed Bemet, Nose Chesed Lalafim, Nose Amon Vapesha, Bechatav Enake, Besalom, Achta Laavonin Ulchatatinun, Chatanu. Slach lanu avinu ki chatanu mecha lanu malkinu ki fashanu ki atadonai to besalach barav chesed lechol kor echa. Ki rachem alafanim, kein to rachem adonai aleinu, ladonai haishu alam chabir chatech chasela. Adonai sabot imanu iskav lanu el hayakob sela. Adonai sabot atshrei adam boteach pach adonai oshia hamelch yaanenu miyom korenu. Slach na labon ha'am hazeki godel chasech habacha asher nasata La'am ha'asem imisrayim va'ad heina v'sham ne'emar v'yom Adonai salach tiki barecha. Page 4.17. Amelch yoshev al kisir rachamim mitaheg b'chasidut mochel avonot amo ma'avir rishon rishon marbe mechila l'chataim v'slicha l'poshaim v'se tzedakot im po b'sav ruach lo charatam tigmol Hail, Horei Jalano, Lamar Shlosh Esrei, Zachor Lanu, Hayom Brit Shlosh Esrei, Kamo Sheho Dato Le'anav Miked, Em Kamo Shekatuv. Vayir Adonai Be'anan, Vayit Yasevi Mosham, Vayikra B'Shem Adonai, Vayavor Adonai Alpana, Vayikra. 
Before we go into this last one, this is the last one of the 13 attributes. This is our last call. This is our last opportunity to call it out before the gates are closed. The gates are closing, everybody. The gates are closing. I want to hear us. I want to hear us as a community. And, I, you know, something about community. There's a, there was a service in an old synagogue in Eastern Europe. When the Shema prayer was recited, you know the Shema prayer? When the Shema prayer, half of the congregation would stand up and half of the congregation would sit down. And the half who was standing up would yell at those sitting down that they should stand up. And those sitting down yelled at those standing up that they should sit down. The rabbi, learned as he was, didn't know what to do. What can I do about this? So he asked some of his congregants, and they said, well, there's a, you should go and talk. There's a 98-year-old man who was one of the founders of the synagogue. He'll know the answer as to what the tradition really is. And so the rabbi did. He took one member of the faction of the standers and one member of the faction of the sitters. And he went with them. And the person, the, the faction of the standers, said to the old man, said, so, isn't it a tradition that we stand during the Shema? And the old man said, no, that's not the tradition. And then the person from the faction of the sitters said, aha, well, that's it. Well, then it must be the tradition that we sit during the Shema. And the old man said, no, that's not the tradition. The rabbi thought and said, but wait a second. The congregation fights all the time, yelling at each other about whether they should sit or they should stand. And he said, that's, that's the, the tradition. tradition. <laughs> and I would say here at Cole So Far, as we're all going to sing it in together, we love diversity. We love different opinions. We love how each and every one of you represent a letter in the scroll. You do without one unique letter with their own opinion, standing, sitting, whatever it is. 
we miss the whole kashrut, the whole beauty and relevance of the entire Torah. It's part of the surprise. You need to have surprise in community. You need to have awe and reverence and humor. And all of those things are what bind us together toward a more trusting, more altruistic, more loving, more binding, more compassionate community together. So let's, I want to hear us. We're going to do it three times. Three times. The 13 attributes right in the middle of page 419. Vaya Vordana Panava Ikra Adonai Adonai Erachum Bechanun Erech Apaim Rachesed Vemet Nozechesed Lalafim Nozeavon Vapesha Bechata Come on, let's get our voices together. Tefilatenu, v'altit ala mitchinatenu, 
שאין אנחנו אז איפנים, וקשי עורף. ואומר לפניך, אדוני אלוהינו, אלוהי אבותינו. צדיקים אנחנו, ולא חטאנו. אבל אנחנו, ואבותינו, חטאנו. The Ashamnus are on page 421. <laughs> Okay, so that was the last of the confessionals. That was the last of the beating of the hearts. I don't know about you, but my chest is getting a little sore. <laughs> In beating our hearts, you've heard the rabbis say you could be better, you should be better, you can improve. We've read these words, we've prayed to God, and I can feel it. I can feel it. We're going to make it through the gates, everybody. Yeah. You're going to do just fine. It's going to be a good, blessed year. And so I want to take those fists. Take those fists. You can take your fists. Take your fists, and I want you to turn into an open hand now. It's time now to turn into an open hand because you've done such a great job. You've shown up. You've prayed, you've participated, you've fasted, you've been here, you've been kind, you've been generous. Let's now celebrate, let's flip the Ashamnu, the confessional, into a positive. Okay, and recognize it's time to flip it to the positive. We're about to have Sukkot. We're turning into joy, everybody. So I want you to repeat after me. This is a different kind of confessional, okay? And every time you do it, instead of beating your breast, I want you to give yourself a little rub. Right here. Warm your heart a little bit, okay? We have loved. We have loved. We have blessed. We have blessed. We have grown. We have grown. We have spoken positively. We have spoken positively. Two more rounds. We have raised up. We have raised up. We have shown compassion. We have shown compassion. We have been empathetic. We have been empathetic. We have told the truth. We have told the truth. One last one. We have respected. We have respected. We have learned. We have learned. We have forgiven. We have forgiven. And we have repaired. We have repaired. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Page 422. <laughs> Okay, 
Kate umchila uslicha, a call of onotenu, the man echta meo shekadenu, Minashu belecha, la sot huke, return habele varshale, Yatab rachamecha rabim, rache malenu, Ilotach pots, beashatat olam, shenemar. Tishu Adonai v'himatso'o Ra'u b'yoto karov v'nemar Yazov rasha darko V'yish aven machshavotav V'yashov el Adonai Mirachamehu V'yel Eloheinu Yarbe l'isloach V'yata lo aslichot Chanun v'rachum Erech apayim Rav chesed v'yemet Umar b'leitib Rotze ot ata bichuva trishayim, vein ata hafez bemit atam, shenemar. Emor alehem hai ani, yerum adonai elohim, im echos bemota rasha, ki im beshuv rasha midar kove chaya, shuvu shuvu, midar chechem haraim, lama tamutu beit Israel. Nemar, hecha fos hech pots mota rasha nu madona Elohim halo b'shuvo midar kavechaya nemar ki lo hech pot b'mota meit nu madona Elohim v'shibu v'chiu. Yata sochan li Yisrael, umocholan li shivte yishurim b'chol dor v'ador, umibal adecha in lanu melech, loche basoleach el ha'ata. Eloheinu belohev atenu mechal ha'avon hinu b'yom ha'kipurim ha'zeh, mechei v'ha'aver b'sha'inu v'chatotenu v'neged e'necha. K'amor, anochi anochi, umoche v'sha'echa l'ma'ani, וחטאותיך לא אזכור ונאמר. מחיתי לך אפשע אחה, וכענן חטאותיך, שובה אלי כגיעתיך ונאמר. כי ביום הזה יכפר עליכם לטהר אתכם מכל חטאותיכם, לפני אדוני תטהרו. אלוהינו ולאהבתנו, קדשנו במצוותיך, ותן חלקנו בתורתך. Sabeinu mitubecha, v'samcheinu mishuatecha, v'tayar libeinu liobdecha v'emet. Ki ata sochan l'Yisrael, v'mocholan l'shivte yishurun v'chol dor v'ador. V'mibaladecha in lanu melech, mochel v'soleach el ha'ata, v'aruch ata Adonai. Melech mochel v'soleach l'avonotenu. ולעוונות עמו בית ישראל, ומעביר אשמותינו בכל שנה ושנה. מלך הפועל Let's <laughs> ZANG <laughs> אבינו מלכנו זכור רחמך וכבוש כעסך וכלי דבר וחרב ורעב ושביעו משחית ויעבון ושמד ומגפה ופגרה 
בכל מחלה, בכל תקלה, בכל קטטה, בכל מיני פורעניות, בכל גזירה רעה ושנאת חינם, מעלינו ומעל כל בני בריתך. ואחד טוב לחיים טובים, כל בני בריתך. וכל החיים ידעו חסר לבי הלוד שובך מאמת, האל ישועתנו ועזרתנו סלע, ברוך אתה אדוני, הטוב שמך ולך נא אל ההודות. אלוהינו ואלוהינו אבותינו ברוך אינו ברוך המשולשת, התורה הכתובה על ידי משה עבדך, האמורה מפי ארון ובניו כהנים, עם קדושך כאמור. יברך לך אדוני וישמרך, יאהו אדוני פניו אליך ויחונך, יישא אדוני פניו אליך, יישם לך שלום. שים שלום בעולם טובה ברכה, חן וחסד ורחמים, עלינו ויכו ישראל עמך, ברכנו אבינו כולנו כאחד באור פניך, כי באור פניך נתת לנו אדוני אלוהינו. תורת חיים יעבד חסד ושקה ברכה ורחמים וחיים בשלום וטוב בעינך לברכת עמך ישראל בכל עת ובכל עת בשלומך וספר חיים ברכה ושלום ופרנסה טובה ניזכר וניחתם לפניך אנחנו וכל עמך בית ישראל לחיים טובים, לחיים טובים, ולשלום ברוך אתה אדוני עושה השלום. Before we go into this last Avinu Malkeinu, I want to just leave you with one of my favorite poems by one of my favorite poets. This is called, because we've just sort of went through this, This is called The Journey by Mary Oliver. One day you finally knew what you had to do and began. Though the, voice, though the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice, though the whole house began to tremble and you felt the old tug at your ankles. Mend my life, each voice cried, but you didn't stop. You knew what you had to do. Though the wind pried with its stiff fingers at the very foundation, though their melancholy was terrible. It was already late, late enough in a wild night, in a road full of fallen branches and stones, but little by little, as you left their voice behind, the stars began to burn through the sheets of clouds, and there was a new voice which you slowly recognized as your own. that kept you company as you strode deeper and deeper into the world, determined to do the only thing you could do, determined to save the only life that you could save. We turn to the Avinu Malkeinu, page 425. <laughs> אבינו מלכנו חדש עלינו שנה טובה. אבינו מלכנו בטל מעלינו כל גזירות קשות. אבינו מלכנו בטל מחשבות שונאינו. אבינו מלכנו הפר עצת אויבינו. אבינו מלכנו כלה כל צר ומסטין מעלינו. אבינו מלכנו כלה דבר רחב רעב ושבי משחית ויבון ושמד בי בני בריתך. אבינו מלכנו סלח ומחל לכל עוונותינו. אבינו מלכנו בחייב העבר פשעינו וחטאתנו מנגד עיניך. אבינו מלכנו החזיר אלי בתשובה שלמה לפניך. אבינו מלכנו שלח רפואה שלמה לחולי עמך. אבינו מלכנו זוכרנו בזיכרון טוב לפניך. אבינו מלכנו חותמנו בספר חיים טובים. אבינו מלכנו חותמנו בספר גאולה וישועה. אבינו מלכנו חותמנו בספר פרנסה וחלקלה. 
Get close with your family. Avinu makenu, onenu vanenu. Avinu makenu, on you too. Onenu ki en vanu masi. Ranbe Alma, Tushbakata, Venech, 
Here's the good news. We're on time, everybody. We're on time. I'm going to get you out of here right on time. Do you want to show them why we're on time? Show them the cards. <laughs> That's going to take too much time. <laughs> Page 445, we do a quick Mariv, a quick Mariv. We'll blow the shofar and make Havdala. 445, you're going to get to sit in just a second. 445. <laughs> May be seated. Silent standing prayer is on 450. 450 to 455. When you finish praying your prayer, you may be seated.
are still davening, feel free to continue. Otherwise, 455. Rise once again for Elena 456. <laughs> Those who are mourning, those observing your sight, please remain standing with me for the mourner's prayer, the mourner's Kaddish. If you see anyone standing alone, please join them shoulder to shoulder in solidarity for no one at Kol Shafar should be in grief or in mourning alone. Page 457. Yit <laughs> May their memories be for a blessing. At this time, I welcome up, I ask you all to turn to page 429, and I'm going to welcome up our shofar blower par excellence, our Baltikia par excellence, Keith Chertok, to come on down. And I'm going to ask you to rise once again as the cantor leads us in the Shema and then two verses that we repeat a few times. Somebody might need to count for Anna last week. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai
בשנה הבאה, And now we make Havdalah together. Now we can turn off the lights. And those votive candles, you can bring them out. Just make sure to return them. They're not, they're not a gift from the congregation to take home, unfortunately. <laughs> Once again, bring people close. We're all family, brothers and sisters. This is how we want to go out. Oh, 
Stars are shining in the sky. Goodbye, oh Queen Shabbat. Well, it's kind of goodbye. Shabbat Shabbaton. Come back next week, we'll all be home to sing again. Well, Gemar Chatimato. Gemar Chatimato. There is a breakfast somewhere around here. Thank God. So I hope you enjoy. We can make mochi together. Baruch Atah Adonai. Hello, hey. I give it to him. Shana Toba. Return the mock sores and the votive candles. Return the mock sores and the votive candles. Hey, Haley. What's up? Hey, Miles. Oh, okay. That was amazing. Oops. Mike's on.